Now that we have talked about files, let's talk about CSV files as well. What is CSV? Well, CSV files are files that are comma separated. So each line would look something like this. One, comma, two, comma, three. Opening and closing the file is like we've already learned. There is no difference. We can open it again like file equals open. And then we pass the path like example that CSV and then we choose the flag like R and when we want to close it we use F close and then we pass the file now when we want to read each line one way is to read the line like usual and then separate it at each comma but there is a better way in PHP so here when we want to read the line instead of using f get s we can use f get csv it will make our lives much easier it gets four arguments the first one is the file itself we can pass it here the second one is the length uh, if we set it to zero it will try to grab the whole line if you have a huge line and you want to get only part of it, you can specify the number of characters here. The next thing is a separator. Separator here is comma for us, but some files might be like this. Some files might be a tab. We can specify it here. And the last one is enclosure string. And what is enclosure string? Sometimes in one row, uh, we might have something like this a coat of someone and we want to keep it like this because if in my coat I had commas it's it's not a separate column it's the same column but it's inside these codes we want to tell PHP if it's inside these double codes do not grab those commas and consider all of that as one column but the beautiful thing is that most of them are work fine by default and the only argument that is required is the file. The other ones, the default is zero and comma and double code. So no problem. Here we only need to pass file. Here I have a file that let me show you uh, example.csv. It's one youtube two twitter three instagram four github and five linkedin the first column is the id and the second column is the name of the website and social media now we are going to read it and as you have seen it's separated by comma so we do not want to change the separator it stays comma now f get csv let me copy this and go to this part when we want to read the file we can call it line or row or whatever fget csv exactly like fget s will read the line and if there is no line it will return false and if there is a line it will parse it separate it at commas and then will give me an array and each item in the array represent one column of that one row. So let's see what it looks like. So like before, we need to write a loop while this line is not equal to false. And at the end, I want to read it again. So it would change the condition. Now my line is an array. I can get the first row like ID equals to this and name equals to line at position one because it's a row, the first one and the second one. I can echo something like uh, the ID for website with the name of 
name is id and then we can also add end of line like we have already seen now i expect this to read the file example.csv in we have opened it in reading mode and uh, we get each line this one will give us an array with each column this array uh, the first part is an id the second part is the name and then we will echo this out now sh let me show you the result php index.php perfect the id for website with the name of youtube is one twitter is two instagram is three github is four and linkedin is five perfect now what if we want to write csv if we want to write csv we will open the file like before we will close the file like before now instead of using f write we use f put csv f put csv the first argument is the file the second argument would be an array of data that we want to put in the file uh, like the array we received each item represent a column so in our case the first column is an id the second column is the name of that website or social media let's say pinterest in this case pinterest and if we had a custom uh, separator we could specify it here if we had a custom enclosure string we could specify here but in our case the defaults are perfectly fine so let me comment this part out and see if we can add the new information append this uh, new id and name at the end of our file php index.php and perfect let's see the result and as you can see it has added a new line for us it had it has added the id and the name and that's it we have been able to write to our csv file as well that's perfect uh, we have reached the end of this section let's go to the next topic